Hey guys, Dean Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sunday. Some more Do Re Mi after a brief break. We're in the Fairy Village. This is level four. I almost said episode four. This is not episode four. I don't know what to expect. Okay, so this music is even creepier than. Oh, okay. Starting off on a good, uh, good note. Wonderful. This music is even creepier than before, is what I was trying to say. I feel like these fish are not friendly. Yeah, these, uh, these last few levels have been kind of brutal, and, you know, I'm not trying to complain here, but this is already a kind of tough game, so if the game could kind of stop, that'd be pretty cool. Whoa. Yeah, the, the thing that was really getting my goat last time, those swoopy birds, did not care for those. No sorry. Speaking of birds, I mean, birds aren't real. But, uh, anybody remember Flappy Bird? Does anybody remember that game? The, uh, like the iPod Touch cult sensation. It was made by that one guy, just on a whim. It exploded in popularity. And he refused to put ads on it, I think. People kept pressuring him to the point where he was, like, gonna kill himself. And then he just completely, like, pulled out any and all future iterations. I remember I was at a, uh, uh, stop it. I was at like a, um, I don't know if, if, if other, if other places have these, but I was at a place called, uh, Dave, Dave and Buster's, David and, and Buster. And it's just basically like a, like a giant arcade has a lot of those pop-up games and kind of the, the the gambly ones, the ones that teach kids how to gamble. That's good. It's good for them. And it had a Flappy Bird game, which I thought was fun. I actually spent the majority of my my time playing that just because the rewards were just irresistible. That was actually the same night. It was uh, when I was a man, single and ready to mingle way back when in the Dark Ages. And I was actually there with a group of other very single fellas. And so we went to Dave and Buster's on Valentine's Day as you do with your boys. That was a very strange experience for me. Ooh. But I won a lot of, uh... oh, get out of here. I won a lot of points, tickets, tokens, whatever those are. And I bought candy with it because the exchange rate was like $40 for, I don't know, a thousand points or something, which let you play for like two or three hours. So it's totally legit. You know, it totally checks out. Oh, we are slip sliding away. Okay. Oh, oh, we're on a surfboard or something. I didn't notice that. So why am I moving so fast? Yeah, that was a fun night. Okay. Actually, got fooled into jumping there. That was not my smartest thing I've ever done. But yeah, so Valentine's Day with your boys playing video games, watching them eat probably the most disgusting stuff that I've ever seen. Most of it with little to no nutritional value, if I had to guess. Not that I'm one to judge, but you know. This is one of my favorite songs, by the way, so I'm jamming to it while I'm jamming while I'm rambling. Ooh, this is kind of like Battle Toadsy. All right. But yeah, so that was a cool experience, except for on my way home. You ever have a near-death experience, like literally a near-death experience? Not just like, oh, well, one time I choked on an ice cube and I thought I was gonna die, not like that. I was driving home in my vehicle, safely, seatbelt on, obeying the law, driving the speed limit, of course, as I always do sometimes, and, whoa, what on earth? Oh, was like a, was that it? Was that two levels already? I'm just burning through this one. I thought this was actually gonna take me a while. That was neat. Hopefully I'm getting all the stars. I need them to get my magical instrument. I don't even know what the next one is. Oh man, we're back to this crap again. Come on. Go, go back to like the fun, the fun music. This is just kind of depressing. And like, I know it's like atmospheric, but it doesn't fit this game. Anyway, anyway. So why I almost died, I'm sure you're all Waiting with bated breath. Okay, so I was driving home on the freeway 
on the motorway. I don't know if there's a different word for freeway depending upon where you live. What? I shot you with a bubble. Anyway, on the freeway. Trying to make my way back to my humble abode. And... There was somebody driving on the wrong side of the road. I don't know if it was like an emergency vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and say no. Because they didn't come from like the emergency part of the freeway in the middle. They weren't they weren't there. Just driving wrong side of the road very quickly. Potentially inebriated having had too many adult sodas or something along those lines. But man, if that doesn't make your butt pucker, I don't know what will. That was a very scary moment for me. I actually pulled over onto the road, onto the side, and uh, took a moment to collect myself and to remove the poop from my pants. So, you know, is there a way to get over there? Some of these levels, the level design is not great, and it leaves me very confused on what I'm supposed to do. I don't, I mean, I am still kind of feeling that way right now. I feel like I'm missing something. That's always good game design, you know, when you always have that feeling that you're missing something. I don't know if there's anywhere else I can go. And I'm down to red pants, so I gotta be careful here. It could be doomsday for me and... Minty over here. I don't want that. But yeah, so... That was an experience that I'm glad I hopefully will only ever have one time. Would not recommend almost dying. It's not really the funnest thing. All right, so there's like these acorns below me. I don't know. I don't, because I can't use the, the bubbles don't, don't go from below like this. This game is so strange. If I like lure him here, can I? Oh, no. Okay. That is not what I was trying to do. Oh yeah, so speaking of other things and dying, uh, birds. Birds aren't real, but if they were real, I might have killed one the other day. Um, was heading out to meet some compadres of mine and uh, there was a winged creature in the road, having a snack of sorts. I think it was eating something potentially dead. And uh, it soon became dead itself because it tried to fly away, not quickly enough, and it flew right into my front bumper. It's a nice hearty thump, and it made me very sad. I don't go out of my way to kill things anymore. So seeing its poor lifeless self Definitely made my eyes a little sweaty. It's not really much you can do when you're driving like that. But, uh, I'll get out of here. I hate these. If I jump on you, maybe? No. See, I don't know what I'm supposed to. I have no idea what I'm doing. I might have to consult the internet. Oh, whatever. So that happened. And, uh, yeah. I went to express concern for my for my unintended manslaughter as I mentioned it in a textual message I said I just killed a bird I'm sad and I typed a sad face but my phone corrected that to a smiley face so either my phone thinks that I'm a psychopath or my phone is a psychopath so yeah, I would not recommend killing critters. I mean, technically I was taking down a government drone, so it's not like the worst thing, but... Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. This is kind of, uh, not fun, you know? Yeah, those guys don't, it doesn't break them. There's gotta be like a, a door or like something in the ground that I'm missing. Because it is not clear to me at all what I'm supposed to be doing here. This is probably going to be one of those moments where it's like really simple and I'm just not not getting it. I don't know if there's like powers that Milton has that I don't know. 
But this, I mean, I've explored all little bits of this air. Oh, did not mean to do that. Okay. Okay. Well, this is a good opportunity for me to actually go and look up really quickly what the heck is going on, and I'll catch you in a moment. So we're ready to play, and it appears that the solution to my troubles is something I didn't know I could do. It's not anything new. It's not a new move. It's not... It's nothing special, and that really peeves me, because I didn't know unless... I mean, I didn't... I have not tried it. I just looked at what I was told to do by the government, and... By golly, we'll see if it works. I am not optimistic, because for some reason, things that are supposed to work magically don't when I do them, so... Oh, get out of here. That happened last time, too. Okay. So apparently you can still use your magic bubble power under what? Oh my gosh. How was I supposed to know that? How is anyone supposed to know that? It doesn't look like it would work unless you're on like flat land. Not under the sea. Oh my gosh. This makes me feel stupid. And that's not a fun game mechanic, making you feel stupid. And there's tons of, tons of baddies. This kind of this kind of sucks. Yeah, get out of here. All right, I definitely don't know where I'm going. So, this labyrinth and okay. All right, if I okay. Maybe these are goodies. Can this be pants? I would love this to be underwater pants. Yes. I feel like there's probably a lot that I've missed in my times playing this by having not known. Oh, whatever, that didn't even touch me. Oh my gosh, this game is cruel. There's probably a lot that I've missed in my times playing because of my lack of knowledge. Is that the sound that it always makes? Oh, I got the fifth one. Yes. I am amazing. That's all five. I didn't. I wasn't counting. Great. All right, and there's that stupid swoopy bird. All right, I just want to survive at this point. Story of my life, right? And, okay. So I'm kind of I'm kind of noivous here. I don't. I also can't turn around very fast. That's kind of a that's kind of a bummer here. And like obviously I'm floating because you know Milton here is. Buoyant. Ooh, there's double pants. Yes, I want double pants. Oh, yeah. Double pants. That does it for me. You know, I can do the pants dance. Okay. I feel like I'm getting kind of close to the end here. This will be the last level for today. It's been too stressful. Okay. Ooh, nice. There's a bonus there, but I don't care. Bonuses are for tryhards. Okay. And the next time you see Do Re Mi, whenever that is, we will take on the boss, or maybe whatever comes before the boss, and that'll be amazing. So thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Super Nintendo Sunday's Do Re Mi. And I'll see you next time. Bye.